Hello and welcome to Lots Built In, the roll and write game of drafting dice and construction from Royal End Game, and designed by Zachary and Rose Connolly. A game of Lots Filled In plays from 2 to 4 players ages 10 and up in around 20 to 30 minutes. The crew is back, and this time you'll be building with colors and dice. Roll the dice, draw in tetrominoes, and score high. You not only need to be crafty on how you place, but also what color you place. Get the most points by completing levels, getting two tools, and having the most in a color. Let's begin setting up the game. Give each player a sheet off the pad and one black pencil. Note there are different sheets and each player should play with a different one. Next, place all the colored pencils in the middle of the playing area within reach of all players. Randomly give each player a crew card. These are kept secret, can only be used once, and are revealed when you're ready to use them. Whoever last sketched a building becomes the starting player. The starting player collects the dice based on the number of players in the game. If playing with two players, get five dice. If playing with three players, get seven dice. And if playing with four players, get all nine dice. Any leftover dice are not needed and return to the box. That takes care of setup, let's start building. Lots filled in will be played in multiple rounds until the game ends. The round in the game has five phases. Drafting, crafting, placement, scoring, and end of round. In phase one, drafting, the starting player rolls all the dice. If more than half of the dice in any roll came up as question marks, then re-roll all the question marks. For the first draft, the starting player will now choose one die. Then the next player in clockwise order will select a die, and so on until the last player has chosen one. For the second draft, the last player will choose and pick a die. Then the player in counterclockwise order, and so on. Each player now has two dice in front of them, and there should be one die left over. Moving to phase 2, crafting. All players at the same time will craft a block. There are five different blocks, an L, an S, a T, a square, and a line. And five different colors, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Just a quick note, purple is the only color that doesn't appear on the die, but it's available when you use the crane. First choose a die to be your block shape, then the other die will be used for its color. If you have one question mark die, then you must make it into one of the five shape blocks and use the other die for the color. If you have both of the dies as question marks, then you can make it any block of any color. Once all players have crafted the block they want to use, it's time to move to phase 3, placement. When placing your block, it must either touch another block orthogonally or place on the foundation. Any blocks can be rotated and flipped, and use the colored pencils to fill in its color. It can be left hanging or stick to another block without any support. But blocks must be placed within the tower. After placing your block, you have the option to place a purple box. If you want to use a purple box, fill in the space on the crane starting from the left and place a single purple box just like a block. Only one block can be used per turn, and each player has five blocks they can use in the game. While this is one way to get purple, you lose a couple of points for using the crane. Once all players have done their placement for the turn, scoring takes place in phase 4, and a player completing a level will score it for the number of different colors it has. If it has 4 different colors, then write the score in the box of the same level of the crane with a 4. If you or any other player manages to be the first to fill in a level, all of you who did get to fill in the small triangle worth 1 point at the end of the game. If you manage to fill in a numbered toolbox with its matching color, then you get to mark the box in the tool section which will be added to scoring at the end of the game. Each box is worth its displayed number of points from 1 to 5. Five colors will be scored at the end of the game. The player with the largest area of color will score three points of that color. 
The boxes have to be touching orthogonally and players who are tied for the highest all get 3 points each. And also at the end of the game, each player will receive negative points for each purple box they have used. The maximum point penalty is 9. Phase 5 is checked to see if the game has ended. In a round, a player who cannot legally place a block into their own structure will end the game. The round is completed and the points are tallied up. If all the players can place a block, then the game continues. The player left of the starting player becomes the new starting player and rolls all the dice and another round begins. And a quick reminder, as for your crew cards, reveal them at the appropriate time if you want to use them. They all have unique and different effects and some will earn you some points. When the game ends, all players tally up their points in levels, tools, colors, and purple boxes used. The player with the most points wins the game. This concludes the quick start tutorial to Lots Build In. For more information about this game, please visit Royal End Games on Facebook and Twitter. The Cardboard Stacker likes to thank the designer of the game for sponsoring this video.